Shalom, shalom. This is a quick intro before the video. And um, I loaded the video up early this morning and YouTube didn't allow me to play the video. So I went back over and put images over the visual. Uh, Lord willing, I hope you guys are edified and be able to uh, uh, see through the spirit of the video here. Missy, she did last night at the VMAs at the Prudential Center here in North New Jersey. And um, you see the, the, the picture behind is the chariot. You know, so hopefully I hope you guys will be edified with that. Shalom. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Now that's Hebrew for bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this video, um, I was basically watching the elder brother from the DC camp, Elder Monagun, and um, he brought this to the light. You know, he was saying in his video that brothers were sharing this amongst each other. And um, Missy Elliott, she brought chariots, you know, inside of her, you know, her performance. And um, and that's what the world ignorantly call UFOs, all right. But we understand those to be the chariots of Yahweh, the chariots of God, all right. And um, I watched the video, and I saw it, and and little do none of these people know, you know, because let me say this: um, these performance, these performance that these artists do on these stage be mostly rituals, all right. And I gotta say from this video that I saw with Missy even though she haven't been out in a while you know she haven't changed you know who she, who who she invented herself to be and um there's small parts in here you could pick out the demons but overall her performance I'm gonna say is not sinister it actually shows the deliverance and then the destruction you know and she probably don't even know or maybe she do you know, but um, I'm going to play a little bit of the video. I'm going to pull some scriptures. And, um, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh, making known, making known who he is. You know, all of these guys, they want to play with the chariots. They want to push this UFO thing. But little do you know, you just letting Israel be more recognized with what they were familiar with already. And that's the chariots of the Most High. So. There you go. So I'm gonna play a little video and, and um come back with some scriptures, Lord willing. say this i hope uh who your audience who's watching hopefully the lord's hope for elect you know um don't get caught up you know in in the music because uh this is a, a rap video don't get caught up in the music stay tuned into the spirit you know don't let the music consume you to blind you from what's going on of um um uh hologram holographic images you know 
just like they did a couple of, what was it, a year ago with Tupac and a couple other artists that died. You know, they're using, you know, I believe what they call the Project Bluebeam, hologramming, holographic image. All right. Because it looks like she's in two places or three places at once. And you can you know that uh they're promoting homosexuality because throughout all this video they keep showing um um feminine men you know like if there's not straight men there you know they keep flashing on the scene you're gonna see feminine men you know so they're promoting homosexuality they want it to be a norm This scene right here with the background is Jacob's trouble. You know, before she came out the heavens, showing you the chariots, angels, signs, and then now you in Jacob's trouble. chariot coming in all right <laughs> you know hey those right there are the vehicles of yahweh man those are our salvation to get out of this this second death man all right being taken up <laughs> Scriptures say you can do nothing against the truth before the truth. 
all right because esau could use this to get you know to get the world to recognize ufos and we got aliens out there but little do you know you know you're just reuniting all right things we once knew okay the chariots of the most high all right just like the songs we used to sing back in slavery swing low sweet chariot coming forth to carry me home well what, what what was they talking about they were talking about the the lord's angels picking them up and taking them back to their homeland man which is rightfully israel all right you see so they could try to use this to get more people to believe in ufos well guess what you're just reuniting and 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 bringing back the memory of us knowing the eight the angels that ride in those vehicles man which are the lord's chariots man you know <laughs> Now this scene right here looks like 144,000. All right, 144,000 men. Like I said, pay attention to the video. You know, this is all through spirit that I received in watching this video. Don't get caught up into the music. Don't get caught up into the dancing. You know? scene right here and look at it it's fire everywhere so this to me this is and reputation and um and represent the destruction because this is what she gonna end it with with fire peace all right so y'all saw the video i just want to grab a few scriptures before my battery die and um i want to start here wisdom of solomon let's get rid of that this is wisdom of solomon chapter 5 verse 1 then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labor. And to, to this day, all right, Esau hath not made an account for our labor. All right. <clears throat> this is verse two. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. All right. Why are they going to be in? Why when they see it, they're going to be afraid with terrible fear. Why are they going to be troubled? <clears throat> because when them chariots fly across in the heavens, it frightens Esau. It frightens the world. It frightens people because you don't know what they are. All right. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that he looked for. All right. And um, let me see some.
y'all be amazed with terrible fear. All right, with the chariot, man. And, and we, you know, we believe also that there's going to be a great chariot, you know, which we call the fathership, man. All right, that's going around Israel up, man. So it says, um, verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And they repenting and groaning in anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometime in derision and a proverb and a reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. <laughs> All right, because they believe that since we're their slaves, the so-called minorities, the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, you are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. And Esau right now have all of us in, in slavery, okay, which is modern day slavery, all right? And he don't plan on letting you go. <clears throat> he don't plan on <clears throat> allowing you to know who you truly are before he, before he conquered you, all right? <clears throat> and it says, we fools account his life madness. You got Jake on drugs, Jake uh, uh, in, in need of support of the government with these benefits. You got Jake being homosexuals. You got Jake's just, just as in the ghettos and the hoods, killers, gangbangers, murderers. It says we fools counted his life madness and his end to be without honor because they thought there was no honor. They thought they're thinking that, hey, and I'm talking about the elites, of course. Because they the ones that rule the world. The elites. Like the Rothschilds. They rule the world, man. And they know the truth. Alright? <laughs> they think that our life would be without honor. That Yahweh Shai wouldn't come for us. Okay? And who and who the Lord is coming for is the whole for elect on this term. On this term, man. Alright? It says, How is he numbered among the children of God? And his lot is among the saints. You see, therefore, we have erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We, we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. And that's Esau to the T, the son of perdition. All right, because they don't go a day without destruction on their mind man, or performing the destruction in the earth. OK, it says we weary ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What have pride profited us or what is good have riches and our vaunting brought us? All those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasteth by. So what have pride gotten you? Pride have gotten you. To meet the king of terrors. And that's Yahweh. Alright. Pride have gotten you. You know. To promote homosexuality. And the Lord set Sodom and Gomorrah as an example. For any other king. And that shall live ungodly in those manners. Alright. So where your pride have gotten you. Is, to, is your destruction. Alright. It says verse 10. And as a ship. That passeth over the waves of the water. Which when it is gone. Going by, the trace thereof cannot be found, neither the pathway of the, the nil in the in the waves. Exactly, because, you know, once this Edomite get taken out of power by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, there's going to be no more remembrance of your kingdom. There will be no monuments. The Most High is going to make sure that he utterly destroy this land, North America, man. <laughs> All right. He's going to utterly destroy any trace of. Of Esau, Esau existing, man. Well, let me say Esau's ruling. And then it's going to be no trace of your existence. All right. As it's written in Obadiah. Okay. When he rounds you up and burn you off the face of the earth. So verse 11. Or, when, or as when a bird have flown through the air, there is no token of her way to be found. But the light air being beaten with the stroke of her wings and part of with the violent noise and motion of them is passed through and therein afterwards no sign where she went is to be found or like as when an arrow is short at the mark 
it part of the air which immediately cometh together again so that a man cannot know where it went through even so we in like manner as soon as we were born began to draw draw unto our end and had no sign of virtue to show but were consumed in our own wickedness all right because the scriptures also say he is strained from the womb he goeth forth speaking lies man all right he is the death adder that stop of the ear that's esau man all right verse 14 for the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind like a thin fo thin froth that is driven away with the storm like as a smoke which is dispersed here and there with the tempest and passive away as the remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day all right now I'm wrap it up 15 it says but the righteous live forevermore therefore reward also their re excuse me their reward also is with the lord and the care of them is with the most high This is Revelations chapter 11 and verse 12. It says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up into heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. All right? And it's a time when the Lord is going to what? Bring up the elect. Okay? He's going to save the elect by, by, by salvation through his chariots, through his vehicles, man. This is Revelations 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up into heaven in a cloud. And that cloud represents the chariot. And their enemies uh, enemies beheld them. All right. Get another quick one real quick. My battery died. This is Revelations chapter 2, verse 7. Uh, 1 and 7. This is Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Who's going to see him? All right, those that are here on the earth. Because why? Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's coming back in those vehicles, man. Well, he's coming back in a vehicle, which is what you call a UFO. All right, we call them IFOs. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they that also pierced him And all kindreds of the earth shall well Because of him Even so Amun Tawab Alright You know and there's plenty of scriptures I can go and get Zechariah You know chariot scriptures But I think I made the point Alright going back into Missy Elliott's uh, video At the VMAs And the VMAs was here in Newark At the Prudential Center Yesterday And they was all terrorizing the streets I mean they wasn't going uh, it was a lot of bullshit in the streets yesterday, you know, until somebody told me that they was having this award show down there. So I said, OK, that's wonder why they had a they had helicopters and a lot of cops down there, you know, and a lot of funny looking ass people. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, you know, I didn't know what the hell was going on until I found out this was holding. This was hosted here in Newark, New Jersey at the Prudential Center, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying, man. You know, I played this video not for your entertainment, but for you to be edified, you know, just my little uh, take on a video, you know, and, and adding the script, well, putting, adding the scriptures to it, you know, and her uh, video shoot, well, her show and what she put together, you know, it's more so, it's more so um, destruction, you know, salvation to the Israelites, to the elect and destruction, you know. And I got to say, you know, she's still the same. They didn't uh, put a twist on it to and make her vid make her uh, thing, make her uh, show demonic. Because all of these uh, award shows have turned into rituals, man. All right. And they shooting subliminal, subliminal messages out there. You know, and the subliminal message in this one is that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to deliver the elect and destroy Babylon the Great. You know, so with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad. 
teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.